In the name of the Father, the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Brothers and sisters, the liturgical year culminates in this solemn feast. We are celebrating the solemnity of our Lord Jesus Christ as King of the universe. It reminds us and gives us hope that it's still the Lord who is going to triumph in the end. History moves towards him and his kingdom. The gospel narrates a scenario where our king separates sheep from the goat. Based on the declaration of the king, the sheep are the one extended generosity to the poor. They are the ones who love God in the poor. The goats are those who did not bother to help the hungry, thirsty, naked, sick, and in prison. Let us take it as a wake-up call, brothers and sisters. Try hard with the God's grace to be counted among the sheep. Let us acknowledge our sins and so prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries. I confess to Almighty, to Almighty God, God and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts and in my words, in what I have done and in what I have failed to do. Through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault, therefore I ask Blessed Mary, ever virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Lord, have mercy. Lord, You are seated 
at the right hand of the Father, have mercy on us. For you alone are the Holy One, you alone are the Lord, you alone are the Most High. Jesus Christ, with the Holy Spirit and the glory of God the Father. Amen. 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 Let us pray. Almighty, ever-living God, whose will is to restore all things in your beloved Son, the King of the universe, grant, we pray, that whole creation set free from slavery may render your majesty service and ceaselessly proclaim your praise. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the book of the prophet Ezekiel. Thus says the Lord God, I myself will look after and tend my sheep. As a shepherd tends his flock, when he finds himself among his scattered sheep, so will I tend my sheep. I will rescue them from every place where they were scattered when it was cloudy and dark. I myself will pasture my sheep. I myself will give them rest, says the Lord God. The lost I will seek out, the strayed I will bring back, the injured I will bind up, the sick I will heal. But the sleek and the strong I will destroy, shepherding them rightly. As for you, my sheep, says the Lord God, I will judge between one sheep and another, between rams and goats. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Responsorial Psalm. The Lord is my shepherd. There is nothing I shall want. The Lord is my shepherd. There is nothing I shall want. The Lord is my shepherd. I shall not want. In burdened pastures, he gives me repose. The Lord is my shepherd. There is nothing I shall want. Beside restful waters, he leads me. He represses my soul. He guides me in right paths for his name's sake. The Lord is my shepherd. There is nothing I shall want. You spread the table before me in the sight of my foes. You anoint my head with oil, my cup overflows. The Lord is my shepherd, there is nothing I shall want. Only goodness and kindness follow me all the days of my life, and I shall dwell in the house of the Lord for years to come. The Lord is my shepherd, there is nothing I shall want. A reading from the first letter of St. Paul to the Corinthians. Brothers and sisters, Christ has been raised from the dead, the first fruits of those who have fallen asleep. For since death came through man, the resurrection of the dead came also through man. For just as in Adam all die, so too in Christ shall all be brought to life, but each one in proper order. Christ the first fruits, then at his coming, those who belong to Christ, then comes the end. When he hands over the kingdom to his God and Father, when he has destroyed every sovereignty and every authority and power, for he must reign until he has put all his enemies under his feet. 
The last enemy to be destroyed is death. When everything is subjected to him, then the Son himself will also be subjected to the one who subjected everything to him, so that God may be all in all. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Please all stand. With your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. Glory to you, O Lord. Jesus said to his disciples, When the Son of Man comes in his glory and all the angels with him, he will sit upon his glorious throne, and all the nations will be assembled before him and he will separate them one from another, as a shepherd separates the sheep from the goats. He will place the sheep on his right and the goats on his left. Then the king, then the king will say to those on his right, Come, you who are blessed by my father, Inherit the kingdom prepared for you from the foundation of the world. For I was hungry, and you gave me food. I was thirsty, and you gave me drink. A stranger, and you welcomed me. Naked, and you clothed me. Ill, and you cared for me. In prison, and you visited me. Then the righteous will answer him and say, Lord, when did we see you hungry and feed you, or thirsty and give you drink? When did we see you a stranger and welcome you, or naked and clothe you? When did we see you ill or in prison and visit you? And the king will say to them in reply, Amen, I say to you, whatever you did for one of the least brothers of mine, you did for me. Then he will say to those on his left, Depart from me, you accursed, into the eternal fire prepared for the devil and his angels. For I was hungry, and you gave me no food. I was thirsty, and you gave me no drink. A stranger, and you gave me no welcome. Naked, and you gave me no clothing. Ill and in prison, and you did not care for me. Then they will answer and say, Lord, when did we see you hungry or thirsty or a stranger or naked or ill or in prison and not minister to your needs? He will answer them, Amen, I say to you, what you did not do for one of these least ones, you did not do for me. And this will go off to eternal punishment, but the righteous 
to eternal life. Brothers and sisters, the Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Good evening po sa inyong lahat. Let us reflect on this. Our mighty King found in the lowly ones. The prophet Ezekiel presents God as a shepherd. A shepherd is a figure of authority. Someone who leads and the sheep follows. But in this passage from Ezekiel, we find God contrasted somehow with the mighty shepherds of the, of the world and how different they are. Yes, the shepherd is mighty, and how does God exercise his might and his power? According to first reading, this mighty shepherd will guide the sheep who are scattered when it was dark and cold. This mighty shepherd will gather them when they are scattered because of some dangers that driving them away. But in the dark and moments of peril, the shepherd will look after them. The lost he will try to find. The strayed he will lead back. The wounded he will clean up. The sick he will heal. Ganyan ang isang makapangyarihang shepherd. Siya'y mighty, powerful, na pastol, pero hahanapin sa kabila ng kanyang pagiging makapangyarihan, hahanapin pa din niya ang mga nawawalang mga tupa, mga may sakit, mga naliligaw, kanyang ibabalik sa kawan. Come to think of it. If you are a wealthy and mighty shepherd, you don't need to waste your time, your energy, your resources looking for the, for the lost, the sick, the wounded. Kung ikaw daw ay makapangyarihan na, mayaman na, na pastol, hahanapin mo pa ba ang mga may sakit, na tupa, mga naliligaw, ay ibabalik mo pa ba? Mag-aaksaya ka pa ba ng panahon at ng iyong resources sa kanila? If you are a mighty and prosperous shepherd, those type of sheep are financial burden. They are a liability and if, and if you find them and integrate them to the flock, especially the sick, the wounded, you might affect the healthy ones. So just preserve the healthy one. And those liabilities, let them go. Don't waste your time. But, no, this mighty shepherd will use his power and authority in order to locate, guide, and heal the least and the lost. But this shepherd is also a judge. Pero ang Diyos na makapangyarihan kahit na siya'y makapangyarihan, hindi siya katulad nung makapangyarihan ng mundo, hahanapin pa rin niya ang mga tupang may sakit, nawawala, mga ibinababa ang dignidad. Kanya pa rin niyang hahanapin. Sa kabila ng, isang, ng pagiging Diyos niya, hahanapin pa rin niya ang mga nawawala niyang tupa. Ganyan ng Diyos. But the shepherd is also a judge. He will look at the sheep and he will also see whether his loving care has taken rooted in them, whether the sheep has received his care. 
and His deep love for them. But the point is, we have a shepherd, mighty yet so loving, and whose heart is with the lost and the least. Ganyan ang Diyos. Makapangyarihan na pastol, pero ang puso niya ay nasa mga taong mabababa. In the gospel, we are all familiar the judgment or the, the, the judgment day. The Son of Man will come in glory. We have here a picture of Son of Man with full power and might seated on the throne surrounded by the angels and before him all the nations of the earth are assembled. All of this pointing not only the solemnity of the last judgment, the last teaching moment, but also to impress upon all of us of the might, of the power of our King who is judged. And how will the judgment happen? Paano mangyayari ang judgment? Those who had fed the hungry, drink to the thirsty, clothing to the naked, those who had visited the sick, and those in prison, they will be part of the kingdom. And those who refuse to do this, all of this will not be part of the kingdom. And both sides will ask, Lord, when we see you and do this to you, and when we did not see you and not do it to you. And he says, if you do it to the least of your brothers and sisters, you do it to me. And if you do not do it to your least brothers and sisters, you do not do it to me. So, this mighty God is found in the least brothers and sisters. Sabihin, ang Diyos na ito ay matatagpuan sa kanila. Sa mga nagugutom, sa mga nasa bilangguan, sa mga naghihirap nating kapatid. Diyan mo matatagpuan ang makapangyarihang Diyos. And our final de destiny, our eternal destiny, our belonging to God's kingdom will depend on how we treated the least. Even if you are do not even if you do not see Jesus do it you are doing it to him kahit hindi natin mo mararamdaman na nasa kanya sa si Jesus pag kinagbibigay sa kanya na hindi mo nararamdaman nasa kanya ba ang Diyos gawin mo pa rin no pag ikay tumutulong sa isang mahirap at alam mong parang ikaw ay hindi nakakaramdam ng Diyos sa Kanya, gawin mo pa rin. No? Those did the good things were not even aware that they were doing it for Jesus. But in some mysterious ways, beyond their comp comprehension, they were doing it to the King of Kings who come to them as a hungry person, a thirsty person, as a homeless person, as a naked person, as a sick person, as a prisoner, all of the outcasts, all of the society would say they are nuisance, they make society worse. Let us not spend time with them. They are draining our resources. Sasabihin nila, Sayang naman, mauubos lang ang ating resources sa kanila pag tayo tumulong sa kanila. Ganyan na sinasabi ng mundo kapag tumutulong sa mga mahihirap. But the mighty God is with them. Yun ang malu... Kumbaga, 
nandun ang Diyos sa kanila. Kaya tumulong tayo sa kanila. But we could say, how could we solve poverty? But brothers and sisters, Jesus is not asking us to solve poverty. Jesus is not asking us to eliminate sickness. He did not say, you eliminated poverty and hunger come to my kingdom. He did not say, you, cu you cured me when I was sick. Come to my kingdom. He just said, you gave me bread to eat. When I was sick, you visited me. Brothers and sisters, Jesus is not asking to cure, but just visit. Wala na siyang hinihintay na ano pa, dalawin lang natin ang ating mga kapatid. Let us not be ambitious, let us be lowly among the lowly, that Where the kingdom happens, when the might of love experiencing the loneliness and loneliness of compassion and solidarity. Amen. I believe in God, the Father Almighty, creator of heaven and earth, and in Jesus Christ, His only Son, our Lord, who was conceived by the Holy Spirit, born of the Virgin Mary, suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, died, and was buried. He descended into hell. On the third day, he rose again from the dead. He ascended into heaven, and it's seated at the right hand of God, the Father Almighty. From there, he will come to judge the living and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and life everlasting. Amen. We are in constant danger of failing to serve the Lord in our brothers and sisters, aware that we will be accountable to Christ for the way we treat our neighbor. We pray, Christ our King, hear our prayer. Christ our King, hear our prayer. For all believers, may they take seriously the last judgment and the implications of the Incarnation. Let us pray to the Lord. Christ our King, hear our prayer. For the Holy Father, Pope Francis, and all other spiritual leaders, may their example of humble service to the needy be readily followed by all people of goodwill. Let us pray to the Lord. Christ our King, hear our prayer. For teachers, doctors, nurses, and social workers, may they render their service to the students, the sick, and the poor in a spirit of faith. Let us pray to the Lord. Christ our King, hear our prayer. For the poor, the oppressed, and the afflicted, may they experience the loving care of God through the charity of their brethren. Let us pray to the Lord. Christ our King, hear our prayer. For all of us, on the day of the last judgment, may we hear Christ's invitation to enter the kingdom of the Father. Let us pray to the Lord. Christ our King, hear our prayer. Lord Jesus, we have often failed to love and serve you in our neighbor. Forgive the faults of the past and grant us the grace to be at all times signs and instruments of your love for all. You will live and reign forever and ever. Amen. For your offerings in the envelope, you may drop them at the collection baskets. Oh, 
Please all stand. Pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of His name, for our good and the good of all His holy church. As we offer you, O Lord, the sacrifice by which the human race is reconciled to you, we humbly pray that your Son Himself may bestow on all nations the gifts of unity and peace through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just our duty and our salvation always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, for you anointed your only begotten Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, with the oil of gladness as eternal priest and King of all creation, so that by offering himself on the altar of the cross as a spotless sacrifice to bring us peace, he might accomplish the mysteries of human redemption and making all created things subject to his, to his rule. He might present to the immensity of your majesty an eternal and universal kingdom, a kingdom of truth and life, a kingdom of holiness and grace, a kingdom of justice, love, and peace. And so, with angels and archangels, with the thrones and dominions, and with all the host and power of heavens, we sing the hymn of your glory as without end we acclaim. Holy, 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 Lord God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory, Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name. Those who are unable to kneel, please remain standing with reverence. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed, entered willingly into his passion. He took bread and, giving thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. When we eat this bread and drink this cup, we proclaim your death, O Lord, until you come again. Therefore, 
Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity. Together with Francis, our Pope, and Gilbert, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep into the hope of the resurrection, and all who have died in your mercy, welcome them to the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Saint Joseph, her most chaste spouse, with the Blessed Apostles, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we merit to be co heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen, amen, amen. At the Savior's command and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name, thy kingdom from every evil, graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us offer each other the sign of peace. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy. Take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace. Grant us peace. Those who are unable to kneel, please remain standing with reverence. Behold the Lamb of God. 
Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. The second collection which will be done is for the continuing development of the Parish and National Shrine of St. Padre Pio. Thank you for your offering.
Please all stand. Let us pray. Having received the food of immortality, we ask, O Lord, that glory, glorifying in obedience to the commands of Christ, the King of the universe, we may live with Him eternally in His heavenly kingdom, who lives and reigns forever and ever. Amen. Prayer for intercession to Santo Padre Pio all together. Padre Pio, Holy Monk from Pietralcina, outstanding saint of the present era, our bright beacon in this earthly pilgrimage, our sanctuary in times of trouble, holy exemplar of great courage, with you our needs do we confide, as well as our livelihood, our health, and our might. Silently pray for your requests. Unworthy as we are, we pray that you concede, bless and grace us, that our lives may be fulfilled. From sin may we abstain, in God may we remain. We also beseech thee, servant of the most holy, to instruct us in the gospel, that we may reflect and believe. Our requests are before thee, our hearts repent, resolving earnestly. To not sin again, to always follow God the Father, together with the Spirit, and Jesus the Mediator. Amen. Ang lahat po'y magsiupo para sa mga patalastas. Una, sa inyong pagdalaw sa pambansang dambana, mangyaring pakiingatan ng inyong mga personal na gamit. Hangad namin ang isang matiwasay at maayos na pagbisita sa National Shrine. Ikalawa, nakahanda na po sa bandang unahan ng Main Church, ang paglalagyan ng mga sobreng may pangalan ng inyong mga mahal na yumao, buong buwan po nating ipagdadasal ang kapayapaan ng kanilang kaluluwa, makipag-ugnayan lamang po kayo sa ating mga tagapaglingkod. Ikatlo, mga kapiyo, kami po ay humihingi ng inyong kaunting oras at pakikiisa para sa pagsusulat ng inyong mga pangalan at ilang detalye sa ating Pilgrim's Information Record Book na makikita sa paligid ng Divine Mercy Sanctuary, sa Main Church, sa Main Store, at iba pang lugar dito sa Pambansang Dambana. Ito po ay bilang bahagi ng documentation program para sa pagpapalawig ng datos at turismong pangsimbahan. Po, araw ng linggo ay dakilang kapistahan ng Kristong Hari. Magkakaroon po tayo ng prosesyon ng banal na sakramento pagkatapos ng misa sa ikaanim ng gabi nasusunda ng banal na oras. Kayo pong lahat ay inaanyayahang makiisa. Maraming salamat po at mangyaring panatilihin natin ang kalinisan, katahimikan at diwa ng pananalangin sa loob at labas ng ating mga simbahan. Magsitayo na pong lahat para sa pagbabasbas ng religious articles. Mga kapatid, manalangin tayo sa Diyos amang makapangyarihan upang tayo maging kawangis ni Kristo sa taimtim na pagdalangin sa tulong ng mga larawan at mga dasalan. Niyo pong ilabas ang inyong mga pabebendisyonan. O Panginoong Diyos, ikaw ang bukal ng lahat ng pagkapal at biyaya. Ibuus mo ang iyong bendisyon sa mga gamit na ito sa pananalangin na nagpapaalaala ng iyong kabutihan, kabanalan at pagmamahal sa amin upang ang lahat ng dumulog at magdasal gamit ang mga ito ay magtamo ng iyong awat biyaya. Loobin mong tularanawa nila ang kabanal at aral ng Panginoon at ng mga santo magpasawalang hanggan. Amen. Ama namin, sumasalangit ka, sambahin ang ngalan mo, mapasa amin ang kaharian mo, sundin ang loob mo dito sa lupa para ng salangit. Bigyan mo kami ngayon ng aming kakanin sa araw-araw at patawarin mo kami sa aming mga sala para ng pagpapatawad namin sa nagkakasala sa amin at huwag mo kaming ipahintulot sa tukso at iadya mo kami sa lahat ng masama. Amen. Abagi noong Maria, napupuno ka ng grasya. Ang Panginoong Diyos ay suma sa iyo. Bukod kang pinagpala sa babaeng lahat at pinagpala naman ang iyong anak na Sesus. Santa Maria, Ina ng Diyos, ipanalangin mo kaming makasalanan. Ngayon at kung kami mamamatay, Amen. 
luwalhati sa Ama, sa Anak at sa Espiritu Santo, kapara nung una, ngayon at magpasawalang hanggan. Amen. Ama namin, suma sa langit ka, sambahin ang ngalan mo, mapasa amin ang kaharian mo, sundin ang loob mo dito sa lupa para nang sa langit. Bigyan mo kami ngayon ang aming kakanin sa araw-araw at patawarin mo kami sa aming mga sala para nang pagpapatawad namin sa nagkakasala sa amin. At huwag mo kaming ipahintulot sa tukso at iadya mo kami sa lahat ng masama. Amen. Abagi noong Maria, napupuno ka ng grasya. Ang Panginoong Diyos ay suma sa iyo. Bukod kang pinagpalas sa babaeng lahat, at pinagpala naman ang iyong anak na si Jesus, Santa Maria, Ina ng Diyos, ipanalangin mo kaming makasalanan, ngayon at kung kami mamamatay, Amen. Luwalhati sa Ama, sa Anak at sa Espiritu Santo, kapara nung una, ngayon at magpasawalang hanggan, Amen. Kapayapaan kailanman ang igawad ng may kapal sa mga yumao nating mahal. Sila nawa ay silayan ng ilaw na walang hanggan. The Lord be with you and with your spirit. May Almighty God bless us all, the Father, the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Mass has been offered. Let us go in peace. Thanks be to God. Jesus, Jesus, Christ.